Hello drone friends, this is Alan at UAV Coach and Drone Pilot Ground School. Happy Friday morning, uh, happy April 2022. Welcome to another week here uh, of our weekly drone news roundup. We have three stories for you today. Let's jump right in. Over the weekend, a German company called MC Cases posted a drone travel case for the DJI Mini 3 Pro on its website. What's so strange about this, you might be thinking, well, DJI hasn't yet released the Mini 3 or Mini 3 Pro. They haven't even formally acknowledged uh, that they plan on doing so. Uh, in addition to this travel case being posted, another video uh, recently came out showing the Mini 3 in more detail. And based on what we see in the video, it looks like the Mini 3 will have a three axis gimbal, new obstacle avoidance sensors, and an improved flight time. Uh, it'll also weigh under 250 grams, which is not all that surprising given that it's a Mini. So where does this leave us? Well, according to drone industry rumors, DJI is planning to release the Mini 3 this month, which makes sense given the uh, travel case being posted and the large amount of leaks that we've been seeing recently. Other DJI products as a friendly reminder that are rumored to launch this year include the FPV Mini in July and the Inspire 3 in September. Next up, we have a win for the drone industry after a judge in Texas found that the state's law barring the use of drones for taking photos and videos was unconstitutional. Whoa! The lawsuit was filed by the National Press Photographers Association after several incidents where experienced drone pilots and journalists were turned away from filming for stories they were covering. In one of these incidents, a freelance drone pilot was denied access to fly. Uh, he was looking to get photos uh, of a publicly funded construction project in Dallas. In another, a photographer at the San Antonio Express News was threatened with arrest uh, after capturing footage of the aftermath of a fatal fire with his drone. In his decision, the judge referenced the First Amendment of the Constitution, holding that the process of creating photographs and video via drone, and I quote, finds just as much protection in the First Amendment as the images themselves do. We are uh, very happy to hear a positive outcome from this uh, lawsuit and hope it can stop other states and municipalities from trying to enforce similar restrictive drone laws. Um, if you are aware uh, of any, uh, any local uh, regulations uh, where you live, uh, that might be too restrictive. Uh, you know, we are looking to help this industry grow uh, in, a, in a safe, uh, responsible, and also reasonable way. So we have a lot of experience working uh, with local municipalities uh, advising on drone regulations. So if you need help uh, interpreting uh, rules uh, or, or have any questions uh, regarding what might be happening um, locally uh, when it comes to drone regulations, please do not hesitate to reach out. Okay, finally, a few weeks ago, we reported about DJI's new Matrice 30. We are now learning that before it was released, the Weber County search and rescue team in Utah was given the opportunity to test it. While they had it on hand, a snowboarder went missing and the team was uh, deployed to find him. Using the M30, they were able to find the snowboarder uh, before they had even left the parking lot and they, they shone a spotlight on him, letting him know that help was on the way. Not only did the drone help find the snowboarder, it helped the team map out the safest route off of the mountain. Normally, this type of operation would take about eight hours, uh, but it only took four thanks to the drone. We always love hearing stories of how drones can be used to help make jobs more efficient uh, and safer for everyone involved. So hashtag uh, drones for good. All right, that's all we have for this week. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on the latest drone news. Uh, remember to check out the links in the description below to read more information about these stories. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, to all of you drone pilots out there, wishing you blue skies and safe flying.